Where earlier telescopes gave only faint and blurry shapes, the James Webb Space Telescope now shows rich detail that transforms how we see this distant traveler. The object is no longer a tiny dot drifting across space. Instead, it becomes a world of its own, filled with texture, structure, and history, shaped over millions of years through isolation and harsh cosmic forces. The surface carries frozen patches, rough ridges, and old fractures that tell a story of a wandering body made of ice, rock, and dust. Scientists note how these details would have been impossible to see before Webb. As astronomer Dr. Lila Morgan explained, what once looked like a single point of light now appears like a fully formed world. Her words capture how suddenly this visitor feels real and close. When Webb focuses on the surface, it reveals reflective ice that seems to peel or shimmer whenever sunlight hits it. The tiny bursts of vapor drifting away form a thin, almost breath-like mist. Experts call this outgassing, a sign that the object is warming up as it approaches the sun. This behavior is common in comets, but the way this object releases gas is unusual, suggesting a different kind of internal structure. Across its frozen crust, darker areas appear like long scars left by ancient impacts. These marks act like a timeline that shows when pieces of rock or dust crashed into it during its long journey between stars. Researchers describe it like a natural record book of collisions that happened far outside our own solar system. One scientist said the contrast of bright ice and dark scars makes it look like a hybrid between a comet and an asteroid, carrying traits of both worlds. A soft, glowing halo surrounds the nucleus. This halo, known as a coma, forms from frozen gases that evaporate into space as the sun warms them. Even though the gravity on such objects is extremely weak, the coma stays with the traveler because sunlight pushes and shapes it. This halo changes shape with time, stretching into thin tails that point away from the sun. Instruments track how the shape twists, offering clues about particle size and the forces acting on it. Scientists believe this halo holds ancient chemistry from the object's birthplace. Some call it a pristine relic, meaning it still contains materials from the early stage of another star system. The idea that we can study untouched material from a distant sun excites planetary researchers. According to Dr. Emilio Rojas, every molecule in that coma is a message from another star's childhood. Webb has detected carbon dioxide, and this result surprised many teams because most comets in our system release mainly water vapor. The strong carbon dioxide signal hints that this object formed in a very cold region colder than most parts of our solar nebula. Webb also picked up water vapor and carbon monoxide, showing that the chemistry is more complex than expected. Some scientists think it formed near a carbon dioxide condensation zone, a place much colder than regions where typical comets develop. This idea challenges earlier models about where interstellar objects might originate. Estimating the object's size remains difficult. Dust, brightness, and unknown composition all affect the measurements. Some teams suggest it might only be a few hundred meters wide. Others think it could be over a kilometer in size. Even with this uncertainty, the object matters because it is a piece of another solar system, traveling briefly through ours. Webb's thermal maps show hot and cold spots on the surface. These patterns point to areas where sunlight penetrates deeper or where insulated layers trap heat. This suggests a more complicated internal structure formed during its time in a protoplanetary disk. After formation, it drifted alone through deep space, shaped only by cosmic rays and collisions. Scientists tracked its hyperbolic orbit, which means it comes from beyond the Oort cloud and will never return. This one-time visit pushes observatories to collect every possible detail. As the sun heats it, the composition keeps changing, and some materials get lost forever. Astronomers compare it to witnessing a snowflake melt while trying to understand the pattern it once had. Ground-based telescopes join the effort. 
While Webb sees in the infrared, optical telescopes like Hubble capture visible details, and radar helps measure the object's shape and how dust moves around it. The combined view gives a cinematic sequence of its motion and changing activity. Dust grains in the coma behave differently depending on their size. Small grains get pushed quickly by sunlight, forming wide halos. Larger grains move slower, creating narrow trails. This dance of particles gives clues about the object's material strength and how easily its surface breaks apart. Webb and the SphereX mission highlight once again the strong carbon dioxide signal, suggesting formation in an unusually cold region. Detecting water so far from the sun is also strange, meaning something inside the object may trap heat or release materials in a way scientists do not fully understand. These findings force them to revise simple models about how icy bodies behave. Because shiny objects can appear larger than they are and dark ones can appear smaller, estimating the true size remains tricky. But Hubble and Webb's joint data narrow it down to a likely range between hundreds of meters and a few kilometers. If the nucleus is intact, it acts like a time capsule, holding clues from a different planetary system. This object becomes the third confirmed interstellar visitor, following Aumuamua and Borisov. The object travels at extremely high speed, giving us only a short window to study it. Measuring its composition helps reveal the chemistry of the distant star system where it formed. The carbon dioxide may hide deeper layers underneath, layers where more delicate chemistry could survive for millions of years. Spectral studies search for organic molecules, which may help explain how prebiotic material spreads through the galaxy. If complex organics exist here, it suggests that the building blocks of life might travel far more easily between stars than expected. As the object approaches perihelion, the closest point to the sun, it grows brighter. Jets and bursts appear on the surface, hinting at active geophysics. Researchers run computer models exploring different formation scenarios. Each scenario predicts different structures, and matching those predictions with observations helps uncover the object's story. The dust-to-gas ratio reveals whether the object formed with more solid rock or more frozen gases. This information helps scientists understand the conditions in the disk where it formed and whether that environment is similar to early stages of our solar system. Public interest rises as images circulate online. People enjoy seeing a traveler from another star, which encourages new funding for future missions. Engineers already plan rapid response spacecraft designed to intercept such objects with little warning. Capturing a sample would offer unmatched scientific value, but reaching a fast moving interstellar object remains a deep challenge. Labs prepare for the day when humanity might hold a physical grain from an interstellar visitor. Studying such material would help us decode formation temperatures, isotopic signatures, and chemical reactions that happened billions of years ago. Teachers use the event in classrooms, turning astronomy lessons into hands-on learning about planetary chemistry, orbits, and interstellar travel. Museums design exhibits showing how global cooperation allowed scientists to chase a foreign traveler across the sky. Philosophers even discuss the ethical questions of handling material from another star, reminding us to avoid contamination and respect planetary protection rules. Astronomers map the object's movement carefully, predicting when heating will reveal deeper layers of material. Each observation must be timed with precision because the phenomena change quickly. Some researchers compare the effort to a surgeon working with limited time to examine a rare specimen. The visitor may change how we think planetary systems exchange material. Studying interstellar objects could reveal common chemistry between unrelated stars. At the same time, the work improves telescopes, calibration methods, and scientific software used in many fields. These results could also shape exoplanet research since understanding how chemicals move between systems helps refine models for planets forming around other stars.
artists and writers turn the event into stories and illustrations that capture the excitement of discovery. Such art keeps the moment alive in public memory. Speculation continues about the object's origin. Some think it came from a young star system full of icy bodies. Others argue it may have been kicked out by a giant planet migrating through its disk. Only careful analysis will decide which story is closest to the truth. The experience strengthens our ability to detect potential hazards. Even though this object is not dangerous, tracking fast, unfamiliar bodies helps refine Earth protection systems. As new data arrives, scientists update their models, removing old assumptions and sharpening predictions. The cooperation between observatories demonstrates how science depends on teamwork. For the public, seeing another world through Webb sparks imagination and encourages curiosity about our place in the universe. It also reminds us that we share responsibility for keeping our planet safe and understanding our cosmic environment. Scientific papers detail isotopes, chemistry, and particle structures. Beyond the numbers, though, the cultural impact expands how people view the galaxy. This object proves that material from distant stars can drift into our solar system, giving us a rare chance to observe it up close. As the object moves past perihelion, it begins to fade. Yet new surprises still appear during late night observations. Long term study will turn this visitor into a major reference point in planetary science. Researchers plan to compare its grains to meteorites found on Earth, searching for shared elements or unique differences. Webb's sharp images show how careful observations can open doors to enormous questions about where planets come from and how chemistry travels across the universe. This traveler carries the signature of its home star, a hint of chemistry shaped far away. Its brief passage enriches our knowledge and fuels the ongoing human journey toward understanding the cosmos. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.